Hey gamers, welcome back to Creative Gamers. In today's video, we're checking out the brand new WinLater CMOD V13 update. And let me tell you, this one is a game changer, especially for those of you who use controllers or want to play local multiplayer on Android. This is not the regular WinLater, by the way. It's a custom fork with extra features. And quick reminder, this is not online multiplayer. It's offline multiplayer, meaning you and your friends can connect multiple controllers and play together on the same device. No internet needed. Let's start with the highlight of this update, the controller system. WinLater CMOD V13 introduces a new backend using native SDL2, which means better and more stable controller support. Both X input and DIN input are supported, so whether you're using an Xbox style controller or something else, you can just plug and play. And yes, it supports up to four controllers at the same time for true couch co op gaming. Plus, there's player assignment built in, so you can choose who controls player one, player two, and so on. This update adds some seriously cool features for physical controllers. You now get vibration or rumble support, which brings more immersion while gaming. There's also advanced gyro controls for motion input, and you can customize sensitivity, dead zones, and activation buttons. Even more useful are turbo and macro button options, so you can automate any button press or combo, including the triggers. Super handy for RPGs or hack and slash games. If you don't have a physical controller, don't worry. The virtual on-screen gamepad also got a big upgrade. It now responds faster and shows real-time visual feedback when you press a button. It just feels way more fluid than before. Now let's talk about audio. This version introduces Alsa Reflector, a completely new audio engine. If you've ever had your Bluetooth audio cut out during a call or app switch, this solves it. Alsa Reflector keeps your game audio going, even if your audio output changes, and it automatically rebuilds the sound stream. That means you don't have to restart your game when your headphones reconnect or your device switches modes. On the system side, the update now uses native Bionic libraries, which helps with app compatibility and overall performance. There's a new favorite game launcher that lets you launch your favorite game in one tab using the star icon. You also get a new setting that disables the touchscreen as mouse when using the virtual pad. That's a quality of life improvement right there. And of course, there are lots of bug fixes, smoother shutdowns, better support for .lnk files, fixed shortcut icons, and a generally more polished UI. All right, let's go over the setup process step by step. First, install and launch WinLater CMOD. Grant the required permissions and let the data initialize. Once that's done, go to the menu and open settings. Set box 64 preset mode to performance and cursor speed to 200%. That's it for the main settings. If you have a Snapdragon 8 Elite processor, go to Adreno Tools GPU drivers in the menu. You can add your custom GPU driver here for even better compatibility. Next, head over to the containers section and create a new one. Set the screen resolution to something like 1280 by 720 based on your device. Set Wine version Proton 9.0 ARM 64N for the GPU driver. Tap the settings icon. If you're on a Snapdragon phone, select Turnip. If you're using a media tech or Mali device, go with System Driver. Snapdragon 8 Elite users should apply their custom GPU drivers here. For the DirectX driver, choose DXVK for most games or VKD3D if the game specifically needs DX12. I use DXVK version 2.4.1. For the audio driver, select the new ALSA reflector. You can also turn on show FPS and full screen stretch if you want. Scroll down and set your video memory size to 4GB. Then go into advanced settings. Make sure box 64 version is set to 0.3. 3.7 and keep the preset in performance mode. Next set TSO mode to fastest for performance. One important setting here is the startup mode. If you're using a controller, choose normal or essential. If you're not using a controller, you can choose aggressive for slightly better speed. Once everything is set, save and launch your container. Now browse to your internal storage, locate the .x of your game, right click it and create a shortcut. That way, it appears in your shortcuts menu for quick access. Now if you have a controller, go to controller manager in the menu. Enable the number of players you want, player 1 to player 4. Then connect your controllers using Bluetooth and click the assign button next to the player slot. Unfortunately, I don't have a controller with me right now, so I can't show the full assignment process, but this is how it's done. After setting up, go to the shortcut section and launch your game from there. I tried The Amazing Spider-Man 2, but it only loads the intro and then goes black. However, I tested GTA 5 and it ran really well, smooth and responsive. So, that wraps up this breakdown of the WinLater CMOD V13 update. It's a massive leap forward for anyone using Android to emulate PC games especially if you're using controllers or want to play multiplayer locally. The new controller system, audio engine, and UI improvements make it one of the best emulator updates this year. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to Creative Gamers for more updates like this. Let me know which game you want me to test next or if you face any issues during setup. Thanks for watching, and as always, happy gaming.